Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this is a reading for the sign of Taurus for the last week of June. Okay, so it's the, the last week of June, the 25th through the 1st of July. We're going to get two oracle cards like we usually do and I'm going to reveal them at the end. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. This is for all, it's not for all signs, this is for Taurus, I'm sorry. Sign of Taurus. This is for Taurus. Last week of June. Generally, my readings are love readings. I am going to be doing a six month forecast with love, money, work, and home. Okay, that's going to be on Vimeo though. Okay, 10 bucks. It should be up by the end of June. This is for the sign of Taurus, last week of June 2018. What does Taurus need to know? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and this reading may not resonate with you. Okay? It may not. Please leave all bashing out of the comments. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any negativity about another sign. Keep the sign out of the comments. Somebody is realizing the truth. Finally. Finally taking the blindfold off. In regards to a partnership, perhaps. A connection. Somebody, you know, I feel like somebody has made a decision to let something go. They have, they've made that decision to realize the truth, to accept the truth. Something they've been delaying. I've been delaying this acceptance, but I think that somebody is accepting something now. Focusing on their future. Yeah, somebody is absolutely accepting the truth. Absolutely. There's been some sort of betrayal here. Lies. You know, I think that somebody has been staying in a place of mental turmoil, staying mentally trapped in a situation because it was a, it was they were protecting themselves. I I was protecting myself by you know, staying stuck here. I was protecting myself, but I I really feel like now somebody is accepting the truth because they've deceived themselves long enough. I'm not going to deceive myself anymore. I'm going to focus on my future and realize that my future is bright. Yeah, somebody was blocking forward movement by staying trapped. Protection. I was protecting myself. I was. I was protecting myself by staying stuck in this dead end situation. I feel as though now somebody has um, found the confidence and the strength and the willpower to move away from this deceptive, deceptive situation. Somebody has decided to invest in themselves, to, to focus on a new connection. It looks like I'm going to invest in a new connection now. I am. I'm going to, I'm going to stop deceiving myself. I've deceived myself long enough and I'm going to start focusing on this new connection. It's, you know, I feel as though you may have went through this, this um, mental turmoil or this trap that you've kept yourself in. You let yourself stay in it so that you, so you could figure out what was going to make you happy. You know, you were blocking yourself from the outside world or from letting anybody else in because you were you were going through some sort of 
period of awareness. I need to become aware of what is truly going to make me happy. You know, because the outcome card right here is is the nine of uh, nine of cups. I see wish fulfillment, happiness. There's happiness here. I'm happy. I'm happy. So I feel as though in the past you were delaying. You were delaying moving on. You were had the blindfold on. You you weren't able to accept the truth, even though you knew the truth. You knew that something was deceptive. You knew that you were deceiving yourself by staying in a situation that was less than than comfortable okay it wasn't comfortable but you made it comfortable because it was a self-protection tactic you know by staying stuck in this um unavailable zone you know you were protecting yourself but i feel like somebody has decided that you know what and i'm going to focus on my future now i'm not going to stay here anymore i'm going to step outside of this comfort zone that i've been standing in you know, I'm going to stop pro postponing my future. I'm going to start to move forward. I'm going to start to figure out uh, where my wish fulfillment lies. I'm going to start to see the truth. I feel like, I feel like clarity has been received. Okay, some sort of clarity has been received um, in regards to a connection. And I feel as though we have two connections here. I think that for some of you, there's clarity that has been received in regards to a past connection that was. That left you feeling betrayed. You've received the clarity. You're, you're seeing the truth. You're believing the truth. You understand. You got it. You, you, I hear. I understand. Okay. I understand. And now I feel like you guys realize that the, the truth of this situation that has kept you held back for so long, it's blocked you from moving forward. I think that you have realized the truth and you have decided to invest your, your time and energy in a new partnership. Because you're looking for that ultimate wish fulfillment. I want to get this zoomed in. Oh, it's looking pretty good, ain't it? Um, so, in the future, I feel like you guys are probably uh, looking very good. You're, you're vibrating at a high level. You're, you're, be, you're very vibrant right, right, right this week. You're feeling very attractive, um, very determined, very confident, very passionate. It's like a, a, a new fire has been lit within you, okay? I see that, that there's a lot of passion uh, that is growing within you, okay? that's This is what's going on right now. Um, and you're starting to invest. You're starting to invest in your future, okay? You're starting to not focus on the past, so let the past dissipate and work on a new partnership. I feel as though um, right now, you are preparing, you're preparing, you're, you are waiting, you're waiting for that right connection. You're in the, the stage of preparation. So you may be still blocking out uh, love from coming in to a point, from really giving yourself to another person. But I feel like right around the corner, you are going to step out. You are going to let go of this protective mode that you are still in. That's in the future. Your challenge is the Eight of Wands reverse. This is your challenge is, is moving, is moving out, is moving out of this, this stage. That is a challenge. It's a challenge to step outside of your comfort zone and offer love. Okay, it's a challenge. It's a challenge um, in regards to whether you will be deceived again. Okay, we have the challenge here. Then we have the Seven of Swords, which is lies, cheating, deceit. I mean, we know the Seven of Swords is is not a good card. It's not. It's about betrayal. So your challenge, and that's the basis of this whole reading, you've been betrayed. That's the basis of this reading. You have been betrayed, and you're scared. Scared of it. You're scared of being cheated. You're scared of being lied to. You're scared of being betrayed, and your challenge is is about moving forward. Are you are you ready? Are you ready to let your guard down? Are you ready to invest in a new commitment? Are you ready to invest in a new partnership? So your challenge is about unblocking yourself mentally. That's your challenge. Your challenge is about letting go of those fears. Letting go of those fears of deception, of betrayal. That's your challenge, okay? So I feel as though right now in your future, you are, you are probably investing your energy elsewhere. You are. And I feel like you were divinely guided to do this. I think you are divinely guided to make these changes. Sevens are the number from heaven. That's a divine number. And these are both sevens. I think that you, you know, you've been divinely guided to 
to step outside of your comfort zone and to let your guard down. Um, and I feel as though, um, yeah, you, there's a lot of fear of being taken advantage of. I really don't want to be taken advantage of. You may be feeling like I'm scared. I'm scared to have faith, you know. Um, I'm scared of... Uh, being manipulated and controlled. This is in the challenge arena, okay? I think you're investing in a new partnership, but you're really scared of being manipulated and controlled. And, you know, I think that, that somebody's ego has been hurt. And our ego always gets hurt from rejection. And I think that, you know, there's still some sort of fear that, this is going to happen again. So that is definitely what's holding you back. Your challenge is fear. Your challenge is fear of being deceived and betrayed again. Okay. Let's focus on the future now. Because I see in the future. Right now. I mean in the future. Probably this week. Or towards the beginning of next week. You know. You're going to be on cloud nine. That's what it looks like to me. And you are going to be on cloud nine. That you are going to be vibrating at a very high level. You're going to be very, very attractive. Uh confident, strong, okay, um, oh my goodness, yeah, there's definitely some sort of, oh, Lack of control. Lack of control. Be careful. Be careful, okay? Because things may get out of control, okay, this week. Things you may not be making the wisest decisions, okay? There could be there could be some um, some criticism, okay? I'm just gonna tell you what I see. There could be some criticism. You may feel like things something is happening that that makes you put your guard up something is going to if it appears that you know you're going to be not you're going to be looking good you're going to be very attractive you're going to be passionate but then it maybe there's somebody that comes in i mean we have this i don't know if you're dealing with an aries because or, or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius aries leo sagittarius aries leo sagittarius aries if, and, and these two are both reversed. You could be dealing with somebody, and this is a challenge. Somebody could come in to bring you down. That's manipulation. Somebody doesn't like your attractiveness. Somebody doesn't like what you're doing. They don't like your happiness. They don't like your, your shine. That's what it looks like to me. So somebody could come in to, to bring you down. Somebody could come in to, you know, shoot you down. Yep, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody doesn't want you to want you to be happy. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to tell you that, but it looks like you could be criticized, you could be judged wrongly. It it appears to me that you are dealing with somebody that is trying to take back control of your happiness. And this is like narcissistic behavior, and I hate to see this. I really do. <sighs> it feels as though there's there's probably somebody, there's probably communication coming in that is undesirable. From a person that doesn't want you to be happy. They don't want you to shine. They don't want you to find wish fulfillment. I'm sorry. You know, and it feels like you could be, you know, dealing with somebody in which you do have to put your guard up. And you do have to defend yourself from this person who doesn't want you to work with anybody else. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to be happy. And I'm, I don't, I'm sorry. But I feel like you are going to overcome it because your outcome is wish fulfillment. So there will probably be a moment or a day or a couple days or something where somebody comes in and they they're, they see that they're losing control because you're shining. They see that they're losing control because you are shining. You are, you are on cloud nine or whatever you want to call it. And this person comes in to take back. They're angry. They're angry. They're they're not happy. They're not happy with your newfound happiness, okay? Your newfound acceptance or whatever. And so it feels like there could be somebody that comes in, you know, to shake up, to shake up your happiness, you know? It feels like they don't want you to, they don't want you to focus on the future. 
If somebody could be sneaking around watching you, just keep that in mind behind the scenes. Somebody could be watching you. They see that that you know you're you're very vibrant and they they're not happy. You could be dealing with somebody that is angry. So just keep that in mind. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's either it's either stay or go. Somebody sees that you have possibilities. Somebody sees that you have options. This is options. Somebody sees that you have options and they are not happy about it. Yeah, somebody, somebody is, whew, they, there could be some issues, there could be some issues um, in regards to you following your own path, they don't want you to, somebody doesn't want you to follow your own path, to believe in yourself. It's bullshit, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, I feel like Right now, you have you have a new door opening, okay? You have a new door opening. You have a new path opening in front of you. Somebody doesn't want you to go down that new path. And it's somebody that has betrayed you. Somebody that has betrayed you, they have lied to you. They see that you're accepting the truth. They see that you're moving on. They see that you have options. Therefore, they're angry and upset. And their, their ego has been hurt. Their pride. They've kept you stuck for a long time. They've kept you in limbo. And now you're moving on. Now you're vibrating at a high level. And so they're coming in to criticize you with their narcissistic behavior to bring you back down. They don't want you to be together with somebody else. But it doesn't appear that they want you either. Somebody's hurting. Somebody is hurting. About this newfound passion that you found. Somebody sees that you have this, you've grown, you've expanded, that you have uh, this new spark within you. You have this new spark that has been relit within you. And somebody is really hurting over the fact that you are no longer committed to them. You're no longer committed to being stuck in that desperate situation. I feel as though you do have a new opportunity, Taurus, that is very exciting. It's very passionate. There's room for growth. There's a spark. There's a spark. Whether it's within you or it's with another person, there is a new spark here. And somebody isn't happy with it, so I feel like they're going to come in to criticize you. Yeah, they, it's a naysayer. You are dealing with a naysayer. If you feel free to look it up, the Page of Wands reverse is a naysayer. Somebody that has nothing good to say. So beware. Keep your courage. Keep your confidence up. Hold Hold on to that strength. This is a lesson. This is a test. This test of your strength. Okay, it is. This week you are going to be tested. Somebody sees that you have a, a, new, a new flame. Okay, they see that you have a new flame. They're not happy that, they're, that you are moved on. That you are, they see that you have moved on. And I feel like this person has been sneaking around. They're watching you. They see. And they're going to step in. To bring you back down. And it is going to be a test of your strength, Taurus. A test of your strength to not let this person come in and break you down again. So beware. Beware. Okay? I feel that you start out, you know, you're, you're doing good. You're happy. You're vibrant. The whole nine yards. I already said it. Somebody comes in to bring you back down. I think there's a new opportunity in love this person from whoever it is sees that they don't want you to be happy they don't want you to move on they may want a new beginning they may just want to have sex I'm just saying 
but they really don't have anything good to say and they don't want a, a solid commitment with you. But they're hurting. And what do people do when they're hurt? They react. So I feel as though there is going to be a reaction this week to your newfound glow. I hope you can pass this test. One more card for this outcome. Wish fulfillment is right around the corner. It's coming. The outcome is happiness, wish fulfillment. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Somebody's bitter. Somebody is bitter. Somebody is resentful. Somebody is angry. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. And I think it's an X. I think that this, because this just signifies an X. There's an X that is unhappy. They have nothing good to say. And they are coming back to bring you down. And it doesn't mean that they're coming back to live. They may just say words. They may just you know, gossip. They're doing something to bring you down. And you are going to have to stand strong and hold your head up high through this whole thing. Because eventually, when this all gets brought out, you are going to be the one that has wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. You are. This person has nothing good to say. They are a naysayer. They have a victim mentality and they will not prevail. You are going to prevail. The Nine of Cups is in, the, is in your outcome position. They are here to bring you down. They're here to... Um, question your faith to make you question yourself this is you they're gonna they're coming in to make you question your faith the faith in your growth the faith in yourself so anyway beware you're dealing with somebody who does not want to lose the control that they are losing over you because you have a new spark elsewhere Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. That's a perfect card. This is what's happening. You are releasing and healing from the past. The past sees it. It does. So they're coming in to test you to see if you really are. If you really are. If you're really ready. And if you can overcome this, there's a new opportunity for love and, and a connection here. There is. With the two of cups. There's an opportunity for love. With a lot of passion. A lot of truth. Empathy. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Use discernment through this. It's going to be hard. It is going to be hard. But this is probably the last test, hopefully. So this is what I have, Taurus, for the last week of June. Be prepared for a little bit of chaos or an upset from somebody that doesn't like your, your newfound spark, your newfound, either it's the spark within yourself or it's a newfound love interest, which is a spark. There's a new spark and somebody doesn't, doesn't like it. I think there's a new partner. There is. A, I think for some of you, there's a new partner here and it leads to happiness. And somebody isn't quite ready to let go. But they did. They did let go. Talk to you later.